Hey, what's going on, Capricorns? Butch Terrell here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Here's what we have for Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn's universe? What message do we have for Capricorns? All right, Capricorns. So the first thing that I see, Capricorns, I feel like there is someone new coming in. And with this person, I feel like one of the first things we notice about this person is, I mean, this person has got their shit together. And we have that Nine of Pentacles. You know, I, I, I feel like I feel like it, this is someone I feel like you notice first. And I feel like it's almost like, yeah, the physical attraction is there. But what really held your attention was the fact that, I mean, this person, unlike anybody, you know, I don't feel like this person is like anybody else you've ever met. I mean, we have the, the six of cups in reverse. I feel like with this person, it's like, You know, we finally see someone that works harder than we do. Or at least it seems that way. You know, this person has their shit together. You know, sometimes we 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 get caught up in life and we just feel like, you know, we have everything going. And it's hard to imagine finding someone that's on the same same page as us. But that's exactly what you see, what I see here. You know, we got the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're on the, the same page. You know, finding, finally meeting your match. Meeting someone that, you know, doesn't need to be baby. Doesn't need to be cheered on. You know, you don't have to be this person's cheerleader. This person's already got their shit going. And it's impressive. And I feel like for some people, this may not be the aphrodisiac that I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here. But for a Capricorn, I feel like this is, I mean, this is hot stuff. I mean, this person's got their shit together. Like I said, they're, they've done it all themselves. You know, we have that, that King of Pentacles. You know, this person's put in the work. They know how to get shit done. And I feel like that's very attractive for a Capricorn. It's very attractive for you. You know, like I said, some people aren't, some people don't think that way. But I mean, like I said, this person knows what they're doing. You know, meeting your match. And I feel like, you know, it's something I feel like you've never found before. Someone like this. Like I said, with that six cups in reverse. You know, but the thing is, is the more you start unraveling this person, the more impressive they become. And what I mean by that is even though this person has their shit together, even though this person, 
you know, doesn't need to be, they don't need a cheerleader. They don't need someone to hold their hand. You know, this person has their shit together. They know what they're doing. You know, and if you're looking for a partner, this is the kind of person you want. You know, because like I said, not only do they have their shit together, but there's a very balanced energy with that temperance. You know, that Sagittarius energy. You know, very optimistic, very, very, very balanced though. And we have that Knight of Wands as well, some more Sagittarius energy. Like this is someone that's going to make you, not only are they impressive, but they also can be fun as well. You know, it's not just this dull person that has their shit together. I mean, sometimes we feel like we want someone that has their shit together, but sometimes we met, you know, I feel like you met people before that had their shit together, but they were just dull. You know, you want someone you can have fun with too. And this is the, if this person has that side to them. Like I said, it's a very balanced energy. This person knows how to have fun. This person is going to make you laugh. You're going to have fun when you're with this person. But when it comes time to put in the work, this person's there. That's the difference. You know, sometimes we met fun people that know how to make us laugh, but they're lazy. Or we met someone that works their ass off, but they're kind of boring. With this, you get that, that incredible balance in between. And that's another reason why this person is not like anyone you've ever met before. Because of the fact this person knows how to let their hair down when that's the time for it. And they know how to put in the work when that's, that's the time for that. They know how to clock in on time. You know, and also, I feel like this person is the type of person that will show up for you, you know, when you need them. You know, maybe you're slacking on something or, you know, maybe you need a little help with something. This person can be there for you and they will be there for you. You know, we don't want anybody that we can depend on. We don't want anybody that we have to depend on all the time. But it's nice to have a partner that we can depend on if we need to, even if you don't use it. To know that they will, if the need be. But one of the things I see about this this connection as well is it's almost like, uh, you know, it's it's almost like you're you've been doing something a certain way and it's been working. But this person coming in shows you a different way, you know, with that hangman, a different perspective. And it's just a way of getting shit done faster and more more productive. You know what I mean? It's almost like, uh, you know, back in the day when people used to, you know, pick blueberries. And then the first person came up with a blueberry rake. And they realized, shit, we can get this done ten times faster. Or anything like that. Like some people used to use those old, uh, you know, those old mowers that just had blades and they just spun them while you pushed them. And then a the person came up with a mower with a motor and shit just got done quicker. You know, having some, having the right person in your life, I mean, I feel like it opens up so many doors. So many doors that you may not have been privy to because of the fact that they weren't open before. That's what it's like having somebody real in your space. You know, with this person, I feel like you're gonna get everything you want. You know, I feel like this person I mean, not only, like I said, this, they know how to have fun. They know how to make you laugh. They know how to make you smile. But we also have that power couple as well. Like I said, this is the ultimate partner. You know, this is someone that isn't going to get in your way. You know, they're doing their own thing. They just want someone to share it with. You know, this person wants to build something great. And they want to have that partner that brings to the table what they bring. And like I said, from the very beginning, I feel like you've already, you already feel that energy of you met your match. You met someone that's on the same page as you, someone that's on the same level. You know, you know, there's no, uh, there's no teaching this person how to be better. There's no trying to get the best of this person. They're already getting the best of themselves. They just needed someone to share it with. You know, this person works their ass off to get where they're at and they'll continue to do that. But now they have someone to work their ass off with. That's the only difference. You know, it's like it's like when you when you start a business and you're looking for that perfect partner. This is the per this is the partner that you want. You want the per type of person that shows up on time, does the work, 
And if they need extra, they do the extra. They'll go the extra mile. You know, the perfect partner. But then when we clock out at the end of the day, you got someone to go home with. You got someone uh, someone to share, you know, your free time with. Someone that makes you laugh. Someone that, you know, brings that ray of sunshine into your life. Because all work and no play makes us very dull. <laughs> My nanny used to say that. You know, we got to have that balance. And this is what this person brings into your life. You know, like I said, this person is all about work when it's time to be all about work. It's all about stability when it's time to be about stability. But they're all about fun when it's time to have fun. You know, like I said, we in life, we meet people sometimes that are really good at making us laugh and having a good time with. But when it's time to put in the work, you know, they're AWOL. Or we have people in our life that, you know, they're hard working, but they don't have time for us. This is that happy medium. You know, and I see a lot of fulfillment, like I said, with that ten of pentacles. Like I see you getting what you want, everything you want from this person, everything you want from this relationship. You know, we have the wheel of fortune and we also have that, you know, that nine of cups, that emotional fulfillment as well. You know, it's it's one of those things in life that we sometimes we find people that, you know, bring one thing to our life. But it's very rare to find someone that brings it all, all the things that we're missing, all the things that we need in our life. You know, this person knows how to have fun. They know how to be serious. Like I said, they show up. And I feel like, like I said, what I talked about earlier about finding a new inventive way of doing things, making it more productive. I feel like being with the right per person makes you and them more productive. You know, and I see a huge transformation in your life because of that. I feel a lot of big changes coming because of that. You know, it's like, think about you're building a house by yourself. And every once in a while you have a contractor come in, but the contractor doesn't doesn't work. They they only work by the hour. So once their job's done, they're gone. But this is, this is bringing on a partner, someone who wants to build that house with you. You know, and it's not someone that's going to clock out. It's someone that's just as invested as you are. And I feel like that's one of the big changes that you're going to see. You know, and, and again, I see a lot of new stability. Like I said, I feel, I feel like you're bringing so much. They're bringing a lot to your life, but you're bringing a lot to their life. Don't, don't, don't undermine what you bring. But this is someone that's finally worthy of what you're bringing to the table. You know, someone that's on the same page, someone that, you know, like I said, they put the work and they want to build that foundation. And I do see this turning into something very serious. You know, I see a strong foundation being built here and I see a serious offer coming from it. You know, this person doesn't play games. They don't waste their time. That's one of the biggest things I see in this person. They don't waste their time on shit that don't matter. You know, and I feel like that's another way you're on the same page. I feel like you don't want to be wasting your time with someone that isn't on the same page. You don't want to waste your time, you know, bringing someone up, building them up just so they can disappear when they get to that, that point. You know, I see a long and happy connection with this person. <clears throat> you know, a very long lasting bond that you share with this person. And I feel like it, it took you a long time to find each other. And that's why I feel like this bond is going to be very strong. Because it's almost like you're not going to want to let each other go. You're not, you're not going to want to lose the best partner you found. You know, we also have, I mean, not to say that this isn't already a great, what I'm seeing is, is great. But I also see the Knight of Pentacles. So not only is this someone that, you know, shows up, this is someone that you can rely on. This is someone that's trustworthy. This is someone that is going to want to build that trust with you. You know, this is someone that you know that when they're in the dark, or like, you, you know what I mean? When you're not seeing them, what they do in the dark isn't going to be anything against you. You know, this person isn't making moves behind your back. This person isn't going to be... 
you know, they're going to be someone that you can depend on, someone that you can rely on, someone trustworthy. Like I said, I mean, I, I know I just said that, but a lot of people are looking for this. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of people will have a hard time finding it. And I feel like you had a hard time finding it, but this is something that is, is going to imbue yourself to this connection. You know, this is going to be something that makes this connection even stronger. The fact that not only is this person put in the work, not only does this person show up, not only do they make you smile, but this is someone you can depend on. This is someone that, you know, you know has always got your back. It's the true partner in crime. You know, that you're ride or die person. And I feel like everybody's looking for that. You know, and I feel like one of the one of the things I also that I see is, you know, I feel like you're going to have great communication with this person. And that just amplifies this whole read right there. And I feel like a lot of people don't have that great communication with their partner. And I feel like with this person, you're going to have that. You're going to have that ability to be honest with each other, even if it even if it sometimes isn't going to be the nicest thing. It's going to be honest. And that's, that's so important. Um, you know, I know like with my best friend, the reason he's been my best friend since we were four is I know there's nothing he can't say to me. When I'm fucking up, excuse my language, when I'm messing up, he'll tell me about it. And when he's messing up, I'll tell him about it. I ain't scared. And I love that about the guy. You know, he ain't gonna baby nothing for me. If I'm doing stupid stuff, I know he's going to be real with me. And, and vice versa. And that's the connections you want in your life. You want those people that give you nothing but honesty. Even if it's not nice. Because it's easy to give you nice honesty. It's easy enough to say that, oh, you look good. Or... You know, congratulations for the shit that you did right. It's a lot harder to find someone that is going to be there for the good and the bad. There's a lot. It's easy to find somebody to celebrate with you. It's very hard to find someone that's going to be there, you know, when shit gets tough. And that's the type of person this is. When shit gets tough, they're there. They'll have your back. Like I said, you may never need it. But the fact that you know that they'll show up, that's priceless. I feel like that. I feel like I'm that MasterCard commercial. <laughs> now with this person, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. You know, having those people in your life, I mean, that's what we all want in friends and family in relationships you know some people don't some people need the truth being a little bit soft you know you need to soften the blow for them but they still there's nothing there's nothing better than you knowing that that person is going to tell you the truth you know there's some people out there that will only tell you the bad shit that's not the people you want in your life there's people that are only going to tell you the good shit you don't want those you want the people to tell you both. And stick around. You know, they're not just going to say, oh yeah, you messed up. Bye. You know, you want the people that, that got your back. You messed up. They're going to let you know about it, but they'll be there to help you clean it up. If you need them to. That's important. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.